is that if, if, if this is an Indiana company trying to stop jobs in Ohio. That, I mean, someone has to stand up in Ohio, and, and if we if we lose this election, people are going to look at Ohio like if they don't, if they want to control the state, all they have to do is come in and buy an election. And they're going to stop businesses coming from Ohio. This is an Indiana business trying to stop an Ohio business. When you used the $14 million figure before, did that include money you've already spent? No. You've been on the air for months already. Um, we spent approximately, um, I, I, you know, I, I think it was $3 million in our last filing. That was what we spent. That included getting onto the ballot, too. So $14 million is what you've got going forward. Look, probably close to that, maybe a little less than that. It, you know, and we, we, we do play it by ear, but we're, we're not looking to increase our budget. We don't have that. We're set in stone. Lakes Entertainment has is set in stone in this. You know, we just are going to get the message out. And, and have, you, know. it, you can't, you know, what Learn and Earn taught everybody is you can't buy an election. It's not how much you spend. It's getting a, a message out that, that that's truthful and honest and open. 14 or 15 million? 15 million or 14 million? I know it's about 14 million. 14 million. Right. And we have to file, on October 23rd, I think we file a pre-election uh, campaign report. So we've been very open about what we spend. We've been very open to who our partner is. We said we'd come out with our partner. We told you it's Lakes Entertainment. Uh, you can look at their record. I mean, so we've been very open about, you know, everything we're doing all along the way. The average Ohioan who doesn't know much about this, they see one side is funded by a rich corporation from outside Ohio mm -hmm. in Minnesota. Right. They see the, uh, the another side funded a lot, perhaps, as you claim, by the Indiana Casino. And you're, you're calling them a bunch of rich guys uh, from outside. Why should Ohioans necessarily side with either on that part of the debate? Not on the, the uh, whether the casino is good or not, but isn't this like the, the pot <clears throat> calling the kettle black here? You know, well, Bill, if there, if there are people in the state who are morally opposed to casinos, who really don't believe that casinos should be in the state, that should be an argument. That's, you know, if there's a group like the Round Table who, who've done it for three different times and they've been against casino gambling, that's our argument. They've been there. There are actually Ohioans. When a state, when a, when a group comes in from out of state to protect business interests, you're, you're, you're trying to buy an election. What we're doing is not, not being a rich company. Brad and I have done this without, and we, we first did this without very, with very little money because we don't have that kind of money. We're just two entrepreneurs who had a dream, and so we're not, we're not either one. So you know, we when we've done this, we've been, we've done this and gone around the state on our own dollar for a lot of this. And we've talked to, to groups all throughout the state. So we, I think we've got the support without advertising. I think a lot of our support came before that because Ohioans believe this is a plan that makes sense now for Ohio. Can you speak to the petition protest and how serious a challenge that's going to be for you? Well, you know, Don McTigg is our attorney, and he probably could speak more clearly about the protest. Uh, from what I've talked to with Mr. McTigg, he just thinks it's, uh, if you want to make a protest, you know, we, we filed our petitions on August 5th. Uh, the protest is now, so we think it's a desperate attempt to grab, grasping at straws. It's, again, money from the Vote No group, which is Penn, Penn National back, and they're just grasping at straws trying to, to uh, do anything to stop this, to, to, uh, to protect their interests. You know, I, I practice medicine, and, and the word we always used in our seminars was frivolous. I mean, that's just how it's going to turn out. But again, I'm not an attorney. Everyone has a right to sue no matter what. But you take some something seriously, you take other things as frivolous. You know, we started, we, Brad and I started having, we, we had petition collectors starting January 4th. And one thing we made certain is that every petition collector went out and they told the truth. You know, we're learning during the past we're accused of calling it for education, and some other group this year had problems going out with some deceptive. We made sure that collectors read our points, told people the truth, and, and from January 4th to August 5th, no one put a complaint against us. No one said that we had deceptive practices. Everything is everything we made sure we followed the letter of the law. So I think this is just a, a, a desperate attempt. I want to go back for one second to what Bill asked. Um, when, when, we, when we looked at this plan, and I've said this before, we thought it was, it, it was a plan that worked for Ohio and for our company. When we go into any community and any state, our objective is to partner, uh, partner proactively with the community and the state. We know that if this succeeds, and, and 
you know, our first objective is to win the vote. But then our objective is to open a property that, <coughs> that Ohio and the community can be proud of. And that does real good for Ohio. That means the jobs. That means the distribution of the wealth. There's a whole bunch of things in this that we knew if we could create this straightforward, honest campaign, people would understand and they would believe in. Now we have opposition. As I said before, it's not that we didn't know we would have opposition. It's just the fact that they came out and had the audacity to just announce it. Here we are, we're Indiana's casino, and we are going to protect you guys from yourselves. I mean, it's ridiculous. So that's the surprise, that they have that kind of audacity. And the fact of the matter is, this is a great plan. This is something that works for Ohio. We hope Ohioans understand that. And our campaign just started this week. So Bill, even though people don't know about this yet, if we do this correctly, if we do our campaign correctly, and I have all the faith in the Columbus firm that we hired, um, people will know about this. And they will know how, how great it is for Ohio and how it will benefit uh, Ohioans. So we've got to do that. Like I said, we might have to, we don't know what their commercials are going to be yet. We might have to answer a couple commercials just to clarify the situation because we don't want someone standing in that booth and having doubts and being confused about things. You know, I have a question.